Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new Let's Play, my name is Fuzzfinger and this is LEGO Lord of the Rings. So this is our second LEGO Let's Play, the first being LEGO Batman 2, which you can find on my channel if you are interested. Anyway, without any further ado, let's crack on, I hope you enjoy this, please rate up these episodes if you do, that will really support me and make encourage me to create episodes faster for you. So, I have never played this game before, I am playing blind. Although I have played Lego before, so hopefully we'll have some idea of what we're doing. It began with the forging of the Great Rings. Three were given to the Elves, immortal, wisest and fairest of all beings. Seven to the Dwarf Lords, great miners and craftsmen of the Mountain Halls. And nine, nine rings were gifted to the race of men, <laughs> who above all else, So that made power. me chuckle. <laughs> For within these rings was bound the strength and will to govern each race. But they were all of them deceived. For another ring was made. In the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a master ring to control all others. One ring to rule them all. But there were some who resisted. A last alliance of men and elves marched against the armies of Mordor, and on the slopes of Mount Doom, they fought for the freedom of Middle-earth. Oh wow, the orcs don't look particularly pleasant, uh, pleasant in this game, do they? Lego walks are evil. Well, it looks like we're about to uh, take control. And we can already start collecting things, which is pretty much the pinnacle of Lego. So let's grab some of this good stuff. Destroy some of this other good stuff. Or you. Kill some orcs. And while we're at it, let's grab this blue one. Since they're worth more. Yada yada yada. Grab all these. And if you haven't played Lego games before, basically you want to fill up the uh, big screw thing at the top for each level, which you can fill up by collecting these gold, silver, blue and purple bits. Right, are we supposed to just still be killing things or can we move anywhere else? I'm playing the PC version of this game by the way. Uh, since it was the cheapest to buy and easiest to record with. Although, frustratingly, it's not on Steam. And even more frustrating, you have to actually have the disc uh, in the DVD drive in order to play it. Okay. I think at the minute all we can be doing is killing. Can't go anywhere else, that's for sure. Oh, no, I think that's going to be death if we go through there. And we only have one button to use at the minute, which is X. Since I'm using the uh, Xbox control pad, obviously. That don't look good. And that doesn't look good either. Uh, Elendor. Die! So yeah, you do get to use a variety of characters in this game, as with the other LEGO games. Ha! <laughs> 
and the story takes place between all three Lord of the Rings films. When I say between, I mean it includes all of them, not like in between them. You know what I mean. Obviously at the moment we're playing through the introduction to Fellowship of the Ring. But the power of the ring could not be undone. Uh oh, so on. Hmm. Oh, we can use a save stone. Not that we really needed to, ready to start playing, but. Wow, Sauron looks mean. Come on, easy your door. Move, move, move. Oh yeah, we can dodge. Oh no, we're not using easy your door, are we? We're using uh, this dude. Is he Sauron? Oh right, we, we do have to use this guy. Ah, 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 his weapon, his weapon. Move, 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 move. Stupid orcs, they got in the way. That's more like it. Let's collect some more of this stuff as well, look. After all, we've already uh, beaten him down one health. Let's grab these. Oh, right, yeah, we can't dodge yet. He's just about switching characters. No! Come on, attack. Okay, we can't do anything to him until he uh, plonks his weapon down, I think. Oh, what's this over here? Let's grab that heart. Oh, no, 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 let's grab the heart. And then we'll uh, move over to the weapon. He does actually... I was going to say he kept it in the ground for quite a while last time, but he didn't this time. Oh, I was kind of hoping that uh, Sauron would destroy that destructible thing for us. Love that heart. Come on, Sauron. There we go. Ah, we've nearly done. I'm sure Sauron was a lot more intimidating than this in the uh, Fellowship of the Ring movie. Come on. Nope, still can't attack it, that's no problem. Come on. Oh, more orcs. Don't we just love orcs? Yes, there we go. This should finish him off. Oh no, he's healed all. It was in this moment. That Isildur, son of the king, took up his father's sword. Yeah. <laughs> the enemy of the free peoples of Middle Earth was defeated. The ring passed to Isildur who had this one chance to destroy evil forever. Isildur, hurry! Follow me! As far as I'm aware, this is the only the second LEGO game that actually has dialogue, the first being LEGO Batman 2. Right then. Ah, save points. Always useful. 
Uh oh, move, move, move. That looked like it was going to kind of explode then, didn't it? Hmm, that's interesting. There's something there that we can't actually do yet. No! Okay, this isn't going particularly well. The perspective's a little bit confusing here. That's more like it. Oh, we missed a gold one. Oh, oh, oh. Can we go down? Hmm, to be honest, I'm not going to bother trying. I still want to try and collect everything we can. I don't think we're going to get the uh, full lot of collectibles, but we can but try. We're certainly getting quite a few now, aren't we? If you like destroying things, you'll love these games, I'll tell you that. Grab all these. Uh oh, more orcs. I want to know what these things are. Move, move, move. What the heck? Yeah, you get stuck if you get caught in them, so really do not get caught. Wait for that to pass. Ah, what's that thing? Maybe it's Elrond. I doubt it, but... Nah, he's useless. Look, Elrond's sword can't even destroy these uh, breakable things. Oh, one out of... Is that five or fifteen? I missed it, quite frankly. Come on, shuffle across. Every day we're shuffling. Come on, drop down and... Ah, something big, big and nasty coming through. Nope, just three orcs. Is your door's dangerous half-sword seems to be doing the trick? Uh-oh, uh-oh, don't push me off the edge. That wouldn't be very nice of you. Come on. There we go. Well, at least your door kicks ass, whereas our one just seems to suck. I don't like the way he keeps running backwards, though, when I'm attacking. That's just annoying. That's just flat-out irritating. Yeah, look, he can't destroy anything. Okay, but we do need to use him now by the looks of things. Now, how do we get his your door back up there? Ah, interesting. Interesting. Come on, then. I've got the idea. And let's just move over here. Is this a destructible? Yes, it is. Ooh. Secret treasure. That's what we like. It'd be cool if we still could fill up this screw. That would be useful. It's not called a screw, by the way. That's just what I call it. Yes, something shiny there. I'm guessing uh, that'll be a character we unlock later. We'll be able to access whatever is in there for us. Three out of five of those statue things. <laughs> Two more to get. Oh, we've got different uh, enemy type there.
Ah, another statue. Didn't even see that. Four out of five. One more, and hopefully we might unlock something then. I'm not saying we will. I'm saying we might. Hmm. I've got a feeling that that might be the end of the level. Nope, that's okay, because we haven't collected everything yet. There we go, we've got everything. As long as we don't lose them now, by dying. I mean, you can carry on destroying things if you want to. It adds more to your total, which you can presumably use to unlock things from the main overworld later on. Although there'll certainly be lots to collect, so don't worry about it too much now. Cut into the fire! Destroy it! No. Isildur! But the hearts of men are easily corrupted, and the ring of power has a will of its own. Yes, I know, I have seen the film. <laughs> It betrayed Isildur. Look at me, I'm invisible with arrows sticking out of me. Think I'll go for a swim. And some things that should not have been forgotten were lost. For two and a half thousand years, the ring passed out of all knowledge. Until... The ring came to the creature Gollum, who took it deep into the tunnels of the Misty Mountains. For five hundred hey, years, it's Lego poisoned Gollum. his mind. But something happened then the ring did not intend. <laughs> it was picked up by the most unlikely creature imaginable. What's this? A hobbit. Bilbo Baggins of the Shire. The ring. <laughs> That's the end of the first level prologue, and we've unlocked free play. Along with Ellen Dill, Isildur, and Elrond. Oh no, no Elrond. Although we can purchase him, possibly. Ah, oh, we only got four out of five of the collectible things, didn't we? I think, anyway. Ooh, those were the secret treasures of which we found one. So we're going to certainly have to go back at some point in order to collect the rest. Okay, well, I think that will be the end of the first episode. Uh, I do love the LEGO games, they are so fun and addictive. I hope you'll carry on joining me for the rest of this Let's Play as we continue next time. Until then, I've been Fuzzfinger, thank you very much for watching me. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye for now.